All right, what's going on guys? And in today's video, I wanted to showcase my sort of brand new setup. It's not necessarily new. I just kind of shifted some things around. I took some things out of my setup and I am shifting from the whole traditional kind of gamer aesthetic setup to a more minimal work orientated sort of setup. I'm still gonna keep the sort of nerdy aesthetic with some good lighting, some good RGB, cause I always love the RGB look but not as cluttered and um, just not a lot going on. A little bit more clean, a little bit more simple. That's kind of my goal. Uh, I want to simplify a lot of what I use and a lot of the things I see from a day-to-day -day basis. Uh, considering I'll be doing a lot more work on my PC or MacBook, then I just, I just wanna really kinda declutter is what I was trying to do. So take a look at my sort of minimalist new setup if you guys like this video enjoy it make sure you guys give me that thumbs up i would really appreciate it, it helps the channel grow and also subscribe to the channel because i'm going to be posting a lot more often here as well so this now look the setup is ever changing it'll always look different but man, I, I'm I'm digging this low key sort of minimal style. Now, a lot of you guys may be saying, hey, Juan, this is not minimal. Like, what is all that stuff right there? Like, come on, brother, you gotta have absolutely no keyboard. You should have no mouse or desk mat. You should just have the screen and you should be able to use it telepathically, right? That's what you guys are saying right now. But this to me is pretty minimal since I don't think I've ever had my desk this clear on purpose. I've had it like this in the past because I've been broke. Cool. Anyways, <laughs> I like how this looks. What do you guys think? Now, let me break down a little bit of what's going on here. Look, we've got the beautiful, beautiful guitar here on the shelf. Um, do we care about that? Now, the shelf is another monster that we've yet to tackle as it's... <laughs> It's pretty cluttered. This thing is absolutely insane, but it's looking good. I love, I love the shelves. Uh, by the way, I am gonna replace these shelves sometime soon. I don't know when, uh, but they're gonna be white. Maybe another shelf taller. I think that would be pretty fantastic. But otherwise, I like these shelves. They're super clean. We got the little skate deck over there. Uh, right now, the chair that I'm rocking is from Odin Lake, and I've had this for a few months now and yeah it is absolutely amazing i highly recommend the odin lake uh, i think this i i need to do a review on this one because this one absolutely deserves a review check it out boys and on this shelf over here you know there is a what is that what in the good lord world is that so a lot of people use sandbags i use water and that's one of my key lights up there and it is pretty fantastic. I'll show you guys what it looks like actually at night. Uh, it just looks really well if you can get one of these and then get some like side lighting as well for yourself because it will be very beneficial. It'll look really great. Of course, I have the Batman Who Laughs over there. This one's actually signed and numbered by the artist. I don't know if you guys can see that. But uh, this one is absolutely gorgeous. It's beautiful. It's one of my favorite prints here. And for me, it yeah, I don't really have that many prints. Got a lot of chaos in the shelves, by the way. So the shelves will be redone, all of them. I need to use that drone, by the way. We got the manga collection. We got a ton of Yu-Gi-Oh cards, magic cards. We've got some kits over here on the side. Yeah, boys, this looks absolutely crazy. But let's dive into all the specific gear, how I use it, why I use it, what's coming next. All right, let's go. Now, this is where I spend 95% of my time as this is where I either work my nine to five as a social media manager and where I also create all of my content as well for my personal social media. Since I get to spend so much time here for gaming and for work, I really have to make sure I have the perfect combination of gear to make my work more efficient and to just increase my productivity as well. Uh, and then also just making it a fun environment for myself as this is where I'm going to be spending a ton of time in. Now, if you're curious about all the gear mentioned in this video, it's all gonna be linked down below. And if you want me to link anything else in my setup I didn't mention, just let me know down in the comments as well. I wanna start 
start with a base which supports me and literally everything that I use and in my opinion is probably one of the most important pieces to any and every single setup and for me is my desk from Effie Desk. This is a standing office desk which retails for about 899 USD. I opted for a larger tabletop which comes in at 70 by 29 inches mainly because I prefer a larger table size as with the small one the more you put on it the more clutter it starts to look and honestly messy desks just kind of stress me out and for me they can be counterproductive for my work and state of mind while working with the tabletop finish i decided to pick the oak white finish on it i think the tabletop looks sleek elegant and honestly i just wanted something different than the usual white which is what i had before i am really happy with my choice and i'm so glad i actually went with the oak white you can pick from two different frame colors which are black and white for the tabletop color you have six different options to pick from and the frame quality is phenomenal and very sturdy the desk comes with a cable management tray that makes it easy to hide those nasty little annoying cables and it holds everything together while you raise and lower it though i would like to see a longer and wider cable tray as that would make it a little easier to fit more cables and power strips under the desk all right i'm gonna show you guys exactly what i mean by it. this desk just being insane now i'm sure people have done this in the past now i'm a big guy not that big chill but I i'm big right like I'm a little bigger than most. And what we're gonna do is, uh, now don't do this at home, but I'm just showing you guys the full capabilities of this freaking desk, which is insane. Um, I'm what, maybe 210 pounds, 15 pounds? All right, fine, I'm 229 and 69. Listen, I'm a big guy, all right? And I'm sure there isn't a lot of desks on the market that can do this as smoothly as this desk does it uh so yeah big guy on a big desk did you see how smoothly it brought me up it does feel like oh i'm high i'm high this feels a little scary i'm not gonna lie all right so it went up smoothly now how smoothly does it go down i'm not gonna lie pretty smooth no squeaks no rattles nothing crazy we're just going down as you normally would what do you guys think about that let me know in the comments shit's crazy it's crazy now if you're gonna be sitting down for a long time every single day i highly recommend you get a chair that will do your neck back and your butt some justice because if not you're probably going to be seeing some aches and pains in the future odin lake reached out to me a while back to see if i wanted to test out their chair and i said yes of course i would love to test out a good chair to you know help my back but that's not what's interesting in between i've tested many other chairs and this has been by far the best in so many ways now a ton of chairs have come and gone but this one still remains this is the odin lake ergo pro 633 which normally retails for about 500 dollars but at the time of this video it's 299 and i think that's most likely because of labor day the odin lake isn't necessarily a stunner in terms of looks but what it does it does really well well. It offers a depth adjustable seat, which allows you to adjust the position of your thighs and legs for the best comfort possible. I personally love this feature because I'm on the taller side and it, it kind of gives my legs a long amount of support and space and it just makes me feel a lot more comfortable sitting down. This chair has 3D adjustable armrest, built-in footrest, which I, I will say I've barely used. And I just gotta say, this chair is mad comfortable. I can sit all day and I will not feel any sort of pain whatsoever. All right, ladies, gentlemen. Are all right, so I'm quickly gonna be going through all the little things that I've scattered around my desk that aren't necessarily that like huge or important for me to mention. Uh, this is my little lamp from Meros. Meros, I don't really know how to pronounce it, but I'll, I'll have them linked down below. It's a cool little ambient lighting uh, that I like to have here on my desk, uh, but you can change the colors and it's pretty intuitive. You just tap on the top, it's like touch sensitive and you can go cycle through all these different colors and kind of really create a vibe for yourself, especially if you don't want anything super bright and you just want something simple. This is really, this is really pretty, honestly. It's such a great little lamp, I love it. Especially at night, it creates such a great vibe. Next, uh, here I have a pen from Grove Made. This is a top quality tier, like this is an expensive, Pen, which they sent out a while ago. Oh my God, we got a man down. And it is gorgeous, gorgeous pen. Beautiful design with a really like heavy base. This thing is insanely heavy. Like it's probably as heavy as like my MacBook. So it goes in the little stand and it looks beautiful. It's sleek and it works really well. You gotta have little guys just hanging around your 
uh, office, but if you're like anything like me, you might like these guys. These are called Smiskies, which the official Misky account for the US follows me. That is a massive, absolutely massive W and an absolute flux for me personally. Uh, I just love them. They represent me pretty well. Like this guy is on the verge, so am I. Uh, another cool thing about them is they glow in the dark. That's fire. I really like that. This guy is glowing. A couple more things here scattered throughout the setup. We have a bunch of hard drives, SSD, SSDs. Um, these are probably my favorite SSDs to work with. I have a one terabyte and a two terabyte. All my file exporting, all my work is strictly done through this. Anything that I kind of edit for my own personal content is done through this little Xbox Series S themed SSD. It's pretty cool. It looks kind of like an Xbox, doesn't it? You already know we gotta have the Lego at the setup. Uh, I thrifted this. It's a little smoking uh, ashtray. Smoking ashtray, Jesus, holy. Just keep like random USB stuff in there. Uh, miscellaneous stuff. Um, I have my baby, my boy. I mean, probably everybody's boy. But there's a reason why there's just a random amiibo right there just pinned to the wall. And let me show you. Yo! Ghetto. Okay, so the reason for that is I actually had a, a mount for my monitors that you could hang on the wall. And I didn't really like it, so I took it off and I never covered the holes in. So here we are. Uh, here next, you know, getting into the spirit of Halloween. Halloween's coming around the corner. I have some switches and I think it looks pretty cool. Uh, this was at, it's from Target and I think it was like $3 from like the dollar section. All right, if, you, if you're ever at my house and check out my setup, you're always going to see little guys. So now the lamp, this is from BenQ and it is just absolutely beautiful. It's probably one of my newest one and it's the e-reading LED desk lamp. This lamp retails for about $229. Yes, it's super insane for the price, but you pay for, you know, the vibe, right? It's aesthetic, touch this little ring right here and it turns on and off. Uh, you can use this little dial to change the brightness and the tone of the lamp. And you can move this around however you wanna customize it. You can actually take the lamp off and you can either have like a, a floor stand or you can mount it on a desk mount as well. $229, a little overkill for a lamp. You can go both ways, right? All right, now I wanna talk about one of my recent pickups, and this is my Street Fighter X High Ground Collaboration Dust Mat. It is gorgeous, the colors are beautiful, the printing is so great. Probably one of my favorite dust mats. The quality is 100% there, but I also picked up a keyboard alongside it. And yeah, this is one of their base keyboards. It's absolutely gorgeous. I am making a video review for this, so subscribe to stay tuned for that one. And I have another keyboard coming in as well, so stay tuned for more unboxings from High Ground. But yeah, that's pretty much everything that's on my desk here, except this guy. We haven't talked about this little guy right here, so let's let's talk about it. This is the Xbox Series S, which I actually picked up at launch, and it's been such a great addition to my computer setup. This is the one that comes with an SSD that's 512 gigabytes, and I will say that is definitely not enough storage for your average day gamer. And that's all right, I added an SSD to pretty much add as many games as I want onto it, so I don't have to worry about any sort of storage issues down the line. Now, I love this thing mainly because of Game Pass. It has such a massive amount of games for me to play, and even exclusive launch titles on day one just like Starfield. Now, I think that's a pretty awesome and it's a huge bang for your buck. This Xbox features all the amazing features of the Series X, like your quick resume, gaming at up to 120 frames per second. It's backwards compatible, offers Dolby Vision and true 4K gaming. This thing is the ultimate budget console and probably the best one to pick up if your wallet is running a bit small. And what I'm using to game and work currently is an Infievo monitor. I'm not sure if I pronounced it correctly. It's a 2K monitor and it has all the bells and whistles but honestly it's just not hitting for me and i definitely definitely need to upgrade to an ultra wide monitor 
ASAP. So if you guys have a recommendation for an ultra white, I, I beg you on, on my knees, please tell me which one I need to buy. Now, lastly, I want to talk about my 2023 14 inch MacBook Pro. This is the thing that fuels my life, pays my bills, and at the end of the day, it helps me pursue my creative endeavors. The MacBook Pro is an absolute powerhouse and is a necessary investment for all content creators. Now I have the M2 edition with 16 gigabytes of memory and honestly, that's really all I need for now. It handles everything I throw at it and even more. This entire 4K video was edited on my main timeline in 4K with effects, renders, lights, literally everything and it works insanely smooth it, it's cr it's crazy so yes if you ask me a macbook pro in 2023 is definitely a great investment all right that's it for the video if you guys have any recommendations on what i should add to the setup and maybe perhaps take away from it let me know in the comments down below and yeah we're gonna be pimping this thing out putting a good amount of money into it as well and let's see if we're gonna find some surprises maybe some cool collaborations down the road i don't know We'll see, but stay tuned, subscribe, and I'll catch you guys on the next video. Bye.